Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Max Warframe. We're going to be finishing up looking at the brand new weapons that came in update 21 with Harrow Signature Pistol, the Nell. You can find it in the market for credits and it's really not that expensive to build with Cryotic being the most expensive component, but it does come with a pretty hefty mastery requirement of 10. The damage it puts out is actually pretty decent, 150 base damage. It's split pretty evenly between impact and puncture with a small bit of slash thrown in. The support stats also show where the weapon is really going to shine. 20% critical chance means a crit build is going to work very well, even with only a 150% critical multiplier, um, but that's mostly because of how strong the prime crit damage mod is. It does basically have no status chance whatsoever though, with only 5%. Status build really isn't just going to cut it at all on here. Like a lot of the new weapons recently, it comes with a brand new mechanic. Well, I mean, I say brand new, it's more of an extension of one we already have, which is that the weapon on headshots will trigger a buff called Death's Knell, which will give the weapon infinite ammo for three whole seconds, similar to the way the buff on the Jules Toxicist does. The weapon itself, though, is built around the way that functions. One round in the magazine, much like a Vectis, but only ten rounds in reserve. Although with a 1 second reload time, missing a shot can really feel rather painful. It's also the first secondary weapon to have a scope, which fits really nicely in with the idea of aiming for those headshots to prop the death now buff. So building it the right way is obviously going to be pretty important to get the most out of the now. I've actually put 6 former onto here, 5, V and a dash, and I've built it specifically for crit. Hornet Strike, Barrel Diffusion, Lethal Torrent, Prime Pistol Gambit for the crit chance, Prime Target Cracker for the crit damage, two 90% elemental mods, and then I've got one spare slot for whatever you want, really. In the screenshot, you can see me using Hydraulic Crosshairs. You're going to be aiming for headshots anyway with this weapon, so it's not a bad option to increase your crit chance. Um, Sharpened Bullets were also going to work for crit damage, because you're going to be aiming down the sights quite a lot, pretty much. Um, another 90% elemental mod also works in this slot. Maybe even quick draw if you feel that one second reload is too long. It only drops it down to uh, from one second to 0 0.7 seconds. It's definitely noticeable, at least to me, so it is an option if you like that. So, with all of this in mind, what do I actually think of the Nell? Well, I think it's a nice idea, except that I think it's kind of been implemented in a way that I I honestly don't really like. Let's start with the actual weapon itself. It does some really nice damage, and I mean really good damage. If you proc that headshot, you can unload onto enemies and really kill very efficiently and really well. In terms of raw damage, it's one of the top sidearms in the game. However, the process of actually procking that buff to be able to get the unlimited ammo, I just find so clunky it's unreal. Those of you that have been following my content recently will know that sniper rifles um, and the sniper rifle class are the one that I've been favouring quite a lot recently. But even with me liking snipers, the nail just still feels weird. It's not even just the scope feeling weird, which for some reason it does. I can't put my finger on why it does, it just does. But it also really shows some of the bigger problems. Things like bizarre hitboxes can really make propping death knell very difficult. Especially if you're trying to shoot some of the flying ospreys, or even a large chunk of the infested. Then you have the fact that you've only got 3 seconds of the buff to be able to... Like, I mean, if you don't immediately refresh the buff, then you're going to have to reload the weapon before being able to fire again. You also have to compete with your teammates to be able to land those headshots in the first place. Take for example if you've got a max range CC Nidus in your squad. You line up your headshot, bloop, enemy isn't there anymore. World on Fire Ember, bloop, now the enemy's been knocked down and you've missed your shot. The single shot business is a nice idea but I just don't think it works that well in the game, in, at least in my eyes. Don't get me wrong, there are ways to get this to work. A slow Nova. Um, Harrow in his Condemn, his first ability, Peaceful Provocation Equinox. But even then, I only really feel they work very well with the Nell if you're running solo. Teammates, I think, just, just impact the usefulness of this weapon far too much for my liking. I want to like it, I really do, and honestly, if the buff was longer, maybe 6, maybe 10 seconds, 
I might like it that little bit more, but as it stands, I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's a real shame because I think it does have potential. And I'm sad that the manual reload, similar to the way the Vectis works, doesn't work on the Nell. Um, if you don't know what I mean by that, on the Vectis, if you hit R after you fire, you actually reload slightly faster than the game will do for you. But that doesn't do it on the Nell. At least, what, at least I can't tell that it does. I would definitely have liked for that to be a thing. Try it out, see what you think. Um, if you can make this weapon work, then the damage output from the Nell is pretty fearsome. But personally, I just found it to be too slow, too cumbersome, and honestly fairly awkward to use. Feel free to let me know what you think of the Nell in the comments below. Just to let you know that after today, I'm not going to be around on, probably on Discord almost at all, because I'm going to be in Canada at Tenocon. I will still have some videos coming out while I'm away though, so you will not have to worry about not having content for you to enjoy. But for now, I hope you all enjoyed my look at the Nell, and I shall see you in the next video.